Hey guys, uh, now today I'm going to be telling uh, about uh, apparently um, people, um, Jewish groups and Labour Party call on the uh, Australian Prime Minister to ban conspiracy theorists. Um, to revoke visa of hate preacher. Now, anybody who's um, read 1984, uh, here we have uh, 1984 in process. First of all, uh, The fact that they call them as conspiracy theorists tells me that they uh, don't know. They've never been. They've never read any of his books. Um, they don't know actually what he talks about. Um, I can bet you. I can guarantee it that not one of these Jewish groups and not one of these Labour Party people have been to his um, talks or read any of bo his books. I can guarantee it. 100%. Um, and David Icke even says this. He's, David Icke has um, talked in interviews and he's asked the interviewer has he read any of his books and the interviewer says no. Um, now hate preacher. So this is the latest thing now. Anybody who's actually telling the truth, this is why I start off by saying 1984, because anybody who actually tells the truth now, uh, it's hate speech. Um, now why? It's a long story, but the media is owned by the uh, cabal, the Illuminati, the deep state. Look into it, do some research. Um... I think it's 90% of media. No, what is it? Uh, six companies own 90% of the media or something like that. Um, so this is full on 1984 as we speak. Uh, and like I say, I can guarantee that not one of these Jewish groups, not one member of the Labour Party has ever been to David Icke's talks or ever read one of his books. I can guarantee you. Let's have a look. Oh no, guys, now before we go on, um, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe. Uh, I've got, uh, you can donate to my um, uh, Patreon account, uh, or I also accept count, uh, cryptocurrencies, um, the, there's a list of those below. Now also in today's society, now because I'm, I'm not monetized and um, for some subjects I talk about, uh, which is the truth, uh, I doubt if YouTube would monetize they perhaps would not even monetize me when I get to a thousand subscribers. So, it would really help me out if you could um, do that. Uh, also, in today's world, uh, while I'm, um, you know, I'm not going to wait until um, YouTube decides to monetize me, uh, if you guys don't know about it, um, you want to sign up with uh, a video platform, two other pl video platforms, one is uh, BitTube, everything you upload there you'll get paid in tubes, which is a cryptocurrency, then you convert it back to, back to cash, uh, but usually um, back to Bitcoin and then um, trade the Bitcoin in for either uh, cash or gold. Um, another one is BitChute. 
B I T C H U T E. Uh, you get monetized straight away. What people can do on both those platforms, I think, is they can like give. It's called tips. They, if they like to do, they can um, donate some money through PayPal to. And now that's what all uh, I'm um, trying to do. And but another thing I'm doing is um, uh, I've got. Uh, Videos about other videos about um, self-defense, um, you know, anybody out there who's um, interested in particularly themselves or their loved ones, their family, I'll leave links to uh, probably the best self-defense company on the planet. Now, also, if you want to. Um, Heal inflammation, uh, like David, uh, I could probably do with, uh, <laughs> this because I know he's got arthritis. Um, uh, you want to do some research on a thing called earthing, uh, basically connecting with the earth. I've got links to earthing, um, all about earthing <coughs> below too, as well. So I'll leave those links below. But anyway, back to this. Uh, the Australian government has been pressured uh, to revoke the, uh, before speaking to in March. Labour's written to him. Uh, oh, Immigration Minister David Coleman. Sorry about that. Um, I don't know who the current Prime Minister of Australia is, which is uh, probably I should. Uh, calling on um, to ban Ike from the country. Uh, it, now, it's... He's in no way um, extremely anti-Semitic. Uh, just go and listen to what he says. You know, even one of his videos on YouTube. Uh, uh, now this, you have to listen to him. Because if you look at this, this is, you know, he would seem that it's crazy. But you have to uh, go and listen to what he says. Um... Um, now, see, if you looked at that on its face, you'd think, well, this guy is a conspiracy theorist. If you actually listen to what he says, um, you might find out otherwise. But you can't, you can't, you can't just look at this. I mean, if you look at this and you say, oh, yes, David Icke's a nutter. Well, then anybody could come along and read this just as equally and say, this reporter must be a nutter. You know, where, where's, you know, where's the proof? I want some proof. The only way you're going to get proof, surely, is going by going and, and listening to David Icke or reading his books. I mean, what other way... <laughs> You know, this is what the world's come to, you know, you just, oh, you hear, hear a rumour, David Icke's, uh, you know, goes on about shape-shifting lizards and Rothschild Zionists. Now, what would a normal, uh, you know, anybody who's got an ounce of um, wanting to get to the truth instead of, so what this... That what the Guardian is telling me is apparently it's okay for them to write this about David Icke. But it's not okay, apparently, for David Icke to give talks. Apparently, On the word of a uh, newspaper journalist, who's uh, you know, obviously, I mean, go and look. Here's a um, here's a uh, I challenge anybody out there to get in contact with this Paul Carp, 
and ask him has he ever read any of uh, David Icke's books or been to any of his talks or even watched him on YouTube. I can guarantee you. So yeah, this is my challenge. Go and ask this cup those questions. Guarantee you he never has. Okay? And if he says he has, ask him some further questions. Where is he getting all his knowledge from? Uh, I could e just as just as old uh, David Car Paul Carp there says David likes a conspiracy therapist. I can equally equally say I could write an article and say. Uh, That he's not. <laughs> you know? So where's the proof? Yeah, so basically it's like, um, you know, it's really, it's like, um, kindergarten stuff it's he said i said she said they said he said you know so really what it comes down to is are you going to believe this just because uh this is what paul paul cup has written in a magazine or are you going to go and do your own research that's what it comes down to so there you go guys, um, and anybody who hasn't, uh, you know, looked into David Icke's stuff, um, you know, listen to one of his talks, read one of his books, and make your own mind up, instead of letting Paul Carp make your mind up. Are you so, such a uh, robot or whatever that... That's because that's what propaganda is. Have you heard of propaganda? Paul, someone tells you something and then you believe it without doing any research. How do you know it's not propaganda? How do you know it's not absolute lies? You can't. It's not possible. You have to go and do your own research. You have to get... I mean... The first thing anybody with in the right mind should do would be to get David Icke's side of the story. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe, and um, I've got links to Self Defense, best self defense uh, company on the planet down below, and of course, I've got links to um, Earthing, which will you know, basically, another thing earthing does is uh, it uh, balances your the stress hormone uh, called cortisol. So if you don't know about healing, if you want to heal and keep your, you, yourself and your family safe, um, I've got links below for self-defense and links below for uh, earthing.